Yo, what's up, YouTube? It is your man, SDP, and welcome. What the heck? What the? What the heck? What? Um, <clears throat> uh, sorry about that. I had to go handle some bees-ness. Yeah? No? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Well, anyways, y'all, what's up? Uh, hope you guys are doing good. And today we're going to be reacting to... Everything you need to know about the murder hornets. So we need to be educated on this situation with the murder hornets. These super size hornets that are like this big, you know, eating our honeybees. Like, bro. Supposedly, their stings are like really, like, they hurt a lot. Their stings cause a lot of pain. And uh, you guys need to be careful out there because <laughs> now we got hornets in the coming through. But uh, I'm going to react to this video and see what we need to know about them. Like, what's so scary about them and what's, uh, big deal but uh anyways let's get into the video you might have noticed the recent buzz about a certain particularly worrying insect that goes by the charming nickname murder hornet these unsavory the creatures were first Japanese spotted in the united hornet. states in december 2019 and unfortunately the nickname is not just a hyperbolic wacky look at that look how big they are asian like giant the size of a leaf bro like this also big. being called murder hornets have been found in the u.s the hornet we're talking about is the Vespa mandarinia. This monstrosity can grow up to two inches long, and bee breeder Susan Kobe of Washington State University's Department of Entomology describes them as, quote, like something out of a monster cartoon with this huge yellow What is really face. going on in 2020? There have been four verified this sightings of the Asian crazy. giant hornet in Washington State, and a further two in Canada's British Columbia. Luckily, Ryan Woyan of Washington State's Department of Agriculture has told Time that officials are addressing the situation with an aggressive outreach and trapping campaign. So hopefully our near future yes, doesn't include truth. too many murder hornet swarms. Still, it's probably a good idea to bone up on these things just in case. Here's everything you need to know about the frighteningly named murder hornets. If you see an Asian giant hornet, we have good news and bad news. The good news is that they don't seem to actively target humans. However, the bad news is good. that if they do decide to sting you, you're in for a world of pain. Even beekeeper suits can't stop their stings, which are Ooh. bad with a capital B. Conrad Barube, a they beekeeper who was sting, stung around bro. seven times while getting rid of a nest, described the sensation to the New York Times as the most painful sting he's ever experienced. And he's been stung a lot. The sting is said to feel a bit like hot metal being injected into your body. Oh, and of course, the murder hornet sting is potentially lethal. Though that can be said of any sort of hornet venom in sufficient volume. This particular venom includes a heaping helping of neurotoxins, and while one sting won't end your life, enough of them might. Furthermore, these being hornets, they're able to sting multiple times without dying. This is not a theoretical scenario either. Reportedly, murder hornets kill as many as 50 people oh. in Japan every year. Oh goodness! Don't touch it! I'm not. I'm not gonna touch it. I just want to show everyone home. The swelling. Sure, the murder so hornets dead. are no picnic for humans, but for honeybees, they're a true terror. The Asian giant hornet neither uses nor needs its venomous stinger to deal with bees. For them, it sports a pair of mandibles that are powerful enough to sever the head of a rival. When Asian giant hornets enter a Ooh. beehive, they go into what's called their slaughter phase, where they use their mandibles to decapitate the poor bees, all of the bees. It takes just a few they of the murder hornets off, to completely bro? annihilate a honeybee hive within Bless a few me. hours. After the awful deed is done and the murder hornets have overtaken the hive, they're somehow still not done. Instead, they start happily collecting the bees' thoraxes and flying them off as a feast for their young. Now that we know murder hornets are all oh. over humans and bees alike, what can we, or for that matter, the bees, do about them? Yeah, Quite a lot, actually. Them. As mentioned earlier, the WSDA is keeping tabs on the situation, trapping and tracking as sightings emerge. For this purpose, experts urge everyone who sees Asian giant hornets around to steer clear of them and to be sure to report their sightings instead of attempting to get rid of the invasive pest by themselves. This is a fight best the bees. left to the professionals. Look at this crap. As for the bees, it turns out that some of them have already <sighs> figured on, out bro. the way to deal with the murder hornets. As Mike Baker of the New York Times tells us, some bees have figured out that they can't match murder hornet's size and strength, so they employ a sneaky tactic where hundreds of bees swarm the hornet, trapping it in a living bee ball. These bees then basically cook the hornet alive by vibrating in unison, what? which raises the ball's temperature to over 115 Yo, that's degrees, kinda, which the bees can survive, sick, but the hornet can't. The tactic like they takes cook up the to an hour, but it works. Unfortunately, at the moment, only Japanese honeybees seem to hour. know the trick, having developed it over many generations. Here's hoping that Western bees don't have to learn this survival method the hard way. Check out one of our newest videos right Ouch. here, plus even more grunge videos about the world's... Um... That's pretty scary.
yeah, I hope they're not gonna. Uh, I hope we'll be able to stop them or get rid of them somehow. That's it's not a good thing. We're not gonna have if they eat all our honeybees. We're not gonna have any more honey, and honey's good. But anyways, y'all, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.